Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So the last time, it was a long episode. It was a big, tough fight. I really enjoyed it, um, but we did take a lot of damage. So the mechs are uh, currently getting repaired right now. Um, now our second lance is going to go in today. Um, hopefully we can pull it off with, uh, without too much of an issue. We do have enough money for our financial report. So I'm hoping to get some good salvage out of this. So let's go to the mech bay real quick. So we've got our second lance up and running here. Uh, fully ready to go. So in the command center, we've got a mission today here for um, the breakthrough on the brink. Uh, I thought about doing heavy static, but the problem is, is that at this higher level, um, because it's a blackout mission, um, when that extra lance at the end lands and attacks the base, unlikely that we would be able to stop them. So we're just going to do breakthrough on the brink. It's 1.9 uh, million C bills, 417. It's pretty good. Defend the base. Should be relatively simple, I think. Of course, you know, how many times have I said that? It's been a nightmare. But we're going to go this route. Take this. And we're going to load in our second lance here. So let's flush these guys out. And then we're going to go with... Uh, where are you here? The victor. Um, Black Knight. Uh, or sorry, the Battlemaster. The awesome Black Knight. And then... Um, the Avatar and the Bushwhacker. Now we've got our main lance here, so Earthquake's going to pile it up the Victor again. Uh, let's put... So we're going to put Scramble, I think, into the Missile Mech, which is the Avatar now. And then let's put Jaws into the Bushwhacker. Um, and then... Um, let's put, f uh, focus in here. Wait, who do we put in? Oh, I grabbed Swift. Damn it, Scramble. Here we go. I knew we were missing somebody. Swift can go in the awesome. Not that it's very fast, but I think it's a little faster than the Battle Master. And then we'll drop Sledge into the Conquistador. Now, what do we got on this guy again? I, I keep forgetting what we're running on this thing. I do need to get more gear for this thing. So large VSPL, two ER mediums. Oh yeah, we got the uh, two arrow one shots and a medium VSPL. Okay, right. Internal repair systems. Yeah, we need to really work on this guy. It's it's, yeah, it's bad. We gotta uh, we gotta get some stuff on this thing. I mean the large VSPL is nice, but we can get a lot more into this thing. All right, let's just deploy and get this done. All right, so we got enemy contact right at the very beginning. Wow. Is this the enemy here? Find out in a second. Expect significant enemy forces. Well, that's isn't that just lovely? Um, I think that's them. They're like right on the base. Um, hold up till the cavalry arrives, eh? Well, we'll do our best. Uh... Additional defenses, turrets, blah, blah, blah. Could be a problem blah. Uh, we're right into combat. So what are, where are we here? The awesome's on this side. Conquistador. Avatar. Oh, that's a good spot for the Avatar because it's indirect. Bushwhacker's there. Battlemaster here. And the Victor. Wow, they're right on top of us. Chaparral, Missile Artillery, Frankie, Hunchback, Merkiva 3, Tandem Rockets, LRM-17 Pirate, AC-5 Pirate, okay, that could be bad because I think the AC-5 Pirates, those are the ones that, that do the overheating. We got a pair of those actually, so I think about, maybe thinking about putting those in. Pair of light AC AC-10s with caseless ammo. Well, that's kind of interesting. RE Medium Lasers. Frankie's got a PPC and a laser rifle. All right. Arrow, indirect. Okay. We really need... I got to work on building an indirect mech. We haven't done that yet. We got some arty we can use, which I've never used yet uh, in any series yet. So this guy's useless, the warrior. So it is just... There's five of them. There's got to be more than five. So there's our vehicles coming in. There's got to be another lance here somewhere because if they've got five... There's got it. Oh, there's another one right here. Ultralight Mars Carrier. 
Thunderbolt missiles off, and then Mars, whatever the hell that is. And I wish I knew, I wish I knew what that was. Uh, it's really light, though, so we should probably kill that fast. What can I do for you? And you're all the way over here, huh? Um, that's the awesome. Do I want to go around the back? I think so. Wait, where did I see the... Oh, because we're up on a hill here. Oh, that's interesting. Can I get through there? We should be able to get through here, right? Maybe? Well, let's get moving. He can't do anything this turn anyway, so let's get him up in front. Let's get him moving up to the front. Alright, you're done. Thought about doing the ping, but it might only be the chopper that we get, so... That's kind of a waste of a ping. I'm worried about being trapped behind this wall and then the reinforcements arriving from over here. Wait a minute, well, they got two vehicles in our base. <laughs> what the hell? Well, it's a stealth tank, so... Sure. Thunderstruck, two missiles. Oh, for... How did they get... Alright, we're going to reserve. Because the thing is, is that... They've got their, um... They've got the same first turn immunity that we that we get, so I would rather them go and then let me take a shot at them. There you go. Alright, at least they're targeting those guys. Those guys have got enough armor. They should be able to make it. That's an SRM carrier, okay. Hell spawn. They got a lot of guys. They're going to try and overrun us fast, man. So they got two support lances. So there's 12 guys to start. Ready for orders. God, you're in a bad position here. On the move. Okay. Well, you're in a good position to attack these idiots, but a bad position overall this guy's got to go fast so uh, let's wind the rack up we're gonna fire this too we can't afford to not kill this guy so here it comes beautiful that's a lot of Report. SRMs Won't with dead you. fire <laughs> They got to get through the wall, though. Are they going after the buildings already? That ripped up a bunch of armor. Yep, uh, SRM carrier is not existent anymore. Um, Commander. Commander. Oh man, I think we need to engage these guys in the base here. Um. Yeah, I think we have to engage these guys here. Oh. Targeting for an oh, we got one hit on though. That's nice. Hope we didn't hit our own... Damage our own building, that is. Okay, the fact that they're not shooting this first turn is a bonus for us, but we need to get help over there for that, that uh, victor. He's in deep over there. Mm-hmm. Ready for order. Okay, uh... Do I want to use the arrow one shots early? I mean, what's the chance on this Frankie? Sixty percent. Or we could sprint and close. I think. 
think we do that. We'll hang on to the one shots. I don't. I think if we get if they get reinforcements, I'm gonna want them to to at least do some splash damage to the reinforcements as fast as possible. So let's get on this guy because he's got an arrow. See if we can pull him out of the battle here. All right, here comes the attack. Oh, really? I seem to not be having very much luck with the VSPLs, I gotta say. Okay, good. He decided not to attack the base, which is good. What was that? Is that a light missile carrier? Looked like it was. Looked like a light missile carrier. LRM carrier, okay. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, we gotta get over there to help you out. Interested to see how this avatar is gonna fare indirectly. Well, you're spreading the damage around, that's all I care. Give it to them. Okay. Who was that that was shooting? Was it the uh, Hellspawn? LRM-30, Swarm, I don't it may have been. What do we got left here? Orders. Jaws. Let's go after these vehicles over here. Gonna send the bushwhacker in here to do this work here, I think. Go after these guys. Oh, that's a great chance to hit. Let's target this guy. Penetration. Stealth destroyed. Panicking. Good. Alright, girl. Uh, okay, who are we going after here? It's direct fire on the chopper. Uh, Hunchback. Three energy in the ultras. Um, yeah, our chance to hit isn't that great. 34 on this guy. 16, 23, 23. What did the Frankie have again? A lot of energy. I mean, we could drop incendiaries on the Frankie. Or do we just go for a dedicated kill and just blow up the chopper? We could just kill the warrior. Remove it from the battle. Uh, now we're at LRM 50, so that's seven turns of firing. What else do we have here? Uh, LK. Just that, huh? All right, let's go with this. Well, like no heat on this thing. Let's go this route. Just blow this helicopter up. Just chopper. See ya. Probably didn't need to use all that, but better safe than sorry. Okay, not a bad start. They're down two already. Oh, I got another vehicle back there. What's that? Oh, it's a mech. Already taking some leg damage too, eh? AC-10. Ultra-10, not bad. What do we got left here? We got Earthquake. Oh, the next turn. Oh, you used mines on me again. Fuck's sake. It's a back attack on the Frankie. I'm not moving. Fuck this Frankie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna feel that in the morning. Commander. All right. Uh, who are we on now? Uh, we're on this guy, the arrow system. I think. Gonna go with incendiaries because it'll do a little more damage. Here it comes. Confirmed. Is that enough? That was a critical hit. Nope, wasn't not enough. All right, Jaws.
Yeah, I think we just go this route. Um, how are we doing for heat? We're pretty good. Let's just hammer them. Whoops. Well, he's a smudge. <laughs> he took a pasting, that guy. That <laughs> Frankie, though, man. He did not know what hit him. <laughs> the hunchback's running now, too. I hear it's like, fuck this, I ain't gonna go in there. Those guys are murderers! Minefield in the way, huh? Fuck you and your minefields. I gotta get this guy, though. Um, not the best position. Just gonna walk it up. I don't want to go through the minefield, but I want to try and kill this thing here. This oh, fuck. At least we got it. Yeah, you almost knocked out one of your own mechs, too. Damn it. Let's get you around this way. You're in a bad spot. This mech is so slow, Battlemaster. Oh, man. So they've added a bunch of new... I, I haven't updated to the uh, latest version yet. I wanted to get this one out tonight. I'll be updating tomorrow. But they've added some new... Um, uh, mech, um, chassis and stuff, so... Ah, crap. We're just right in a minefield. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's just see how much damage we take here. 26. Acid. Ow. How do they get such good results and I get garbage? I don't understand how that is. I must be doing something wrong. If anybody knows, please let me know, because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know I I know you in order to get the best results, you gotta shoot when you have the lowest percentage chance to hit. Because it scatters more of a minefield. I think that might be the way to go there. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Oh, we hit this guy in the leg. That's bad. Oh, there we go. You know, I'd almost prefer to hit it straight in the hit him straight in the back, because chances are we're not gonna, he's not going to get back attacked in this in this mission. But anyway, um, yeah. So if anybody knows why my mines do so little damage when I'm hitting with an LRM-60 with augmented ammunition, I have no idea what the deal is. You know, strangely enough, at 55 tons, that bushwhacker is still holding its own in this, in this, uh, at this level. The three medium X pulses and that MRM-30, pretty half decent loadout. Yeah, just don't shoot me in the leg. Not much armor left in that location. Like, can I even avoid? Like when I've minefield in a minefield an area, I even avoid like using got. PPCs or other things on them because I know that'll remove minefields, here. right? So yeah, fuck, doesn't matter where I go over here. Well, we can get up here. We do have range on the awesome, so that's one. You don't shoot your guy in the back again. Not the optimal, but we'll take the shot from here. I think we're gonna sprint through that minefield next turn. Ooh, nice. Connecticut, beautiful. I copy. Just keep walking it up. We're gonna target the uh, the Mars, I think, and get rid of that now. If we can, if we can. Let's use some incendiary. It's taken a lot of damage already. Yeah, it's got barely anything left. We should be able to take it out, I think. Guns off the field, baby. So the Avatar is running an LRM-50. It's actually not bad. Even with a low percentage chance to hit, this the number of missiles has is, is been doing really well. So I don't think you need to move. Just hit this guy. Yeah. See ya. Ooh. Still going. A lot of damage. Not enough for a kill, though, unfortunately. Man, you can't even move.
there a way I can get a shot just on the one guy? Yeah. Alright, well, let's see how much damage we take here. Copy. 13. Okay, that's relatively acceptable. Oh, Merkiba. Overheat, huh? Uh, leave the ERs off, and we'll fire the rest at this guy. Okay, the kinetic hit. Beautiful. Nice. One for the scrap heap. So if anyone doesn't know the Mer the Merkiva, I, I know I'm I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's the it's a um, let's get up here. It's an Israeli tank. If I'm correct, the engines in the front and they've got room in the back for uh, for I think it's six soldiers, six or eight. can't remember or maybe it's four I can't remember but there's room in the back so they can they can have uh, soldiers in there as well transport them to the front in like a heavy fighting vehicle um, yeah let's go up to the hunchback Ooh, nice so I don't know if that was the big one or the or this or the medium because the medium I think does half decent damage as well. I can't remember. Oh, medium to 60, I think. So it must have been the big one. Or no, the medium does 90, doesn't it? Ah, man. Well, we finally got some turrets. Let's hope they don't shoot us in the back. Well, unless something stupid happens, all the buildings should survive. Like, if they get, like, three more lances as reinforcements, then it'll be, like, really enjoyable. Alright, they're targeting the turrets now. What's up, Commander? Oh, you can get around there, finally. No problem. Let's get some shots on this hunchy. Some side shots. So the large, yeah, at this range is 96. Did they nerf that, or is that just a range thing? I think that's just a range thing. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'll give them the whole oh yeah, there goes the leg and the torso. I think. Yep, this whole side's gone. Yep. Going down. Yeah, having good targeting systems makes all the difference. You can just stand back and shred the enemies. Okay, they're going after turrets. See ya! One lance down. Nah, he's still going. Well... We got one turret left, I think. I've got eyes on of course you do. They're heading your way. Oh, right on top of us, too. Orders. All right, what do we got here? Heavy LRM carrier, hybrid carrier LRM TBM. Oh, Helbinger. Pirate. That's a 65 ton, right? If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. It's a moto heavy ER. Okay, um, this guy I think's got to go. So let's. I'm in a bad spot for this. Not so bad. We'll just turn. Yeah, they've got their ECM up already. Um, yeah, we're going to hit him hard. We'll hit him with everything. On okay, a couple hits. Par for the course, I guess. Yep. So you don't need to chase down that mech anymore, so... Which way do we go? I guess the fastest way is this way. Uh, let's go this way, though, because I want to see if there's anybody else around here. Yeah, we got some guys back here. 
catapult, SRM carrier, heavy LRM carrier, and LRM carrier Mark II. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Well, I said I wanted more guys. I hear you. Ridiculously, stupidly said that. Okay, we can move over here and engage those guys if we have to. So that's good. I'm going to sit here so those guys can't see me. I'm going to turn. I'm going to kill this guy and get rid of him. Because we're going to have to turn... Let's turn this off. Oops. Over here? Yeah. No, that's Thermo. Right here, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to have to turn the Battlemaster around, I think. I think so. Anyway, let's... Uh, it's got 34 left. Let's go for the CT, but let's turn off this guy. We'll get our... We'll drop our heat. Two ER larger should be enough. Affirmative. Yep. Okay. That'll drop our heat. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, we saw it. So they're down. They've got three guys over here still, I think. Or is it only two? So two mechs, I think, they've got over there. As a back shots. That weren't much. Still back shot. Good to go. All right, I think you need to push these guys up here. Or do <sighs> Yeah, we're going to go this route. Get yourself positioned so that these guys can't really move in. Take shots at this guy. Taking the shot. Okay, a couple hits. We'll take it. Looks like it got the tag on him. Yep. That's nice. Ooh. Disco. Disco bot. Okay. Uh, who's next? Scramble. Hello. Now, do we turn you around? Because the guys behind us haven't really gone yet. Um, let's get ourselves... Ooh, we can get a direct line of sight on somebody over here. Let's move over here. Because this is all indirect this way, right? So let's move like this. Confirmed. See what your direct line of sight is like. We can throw up the... Um, so this is what? Seven? If we switch this... Oops. i got to get used to this again. I'm just interested to see what it would be against the uh, direct line of sight guy here. Two percent. Well... Seven. We can go with listen kill on this guy though. Do we? Think we go after the LRM carrier. No, we take the best chance to hit and hit this guy. Well, someone's got AMS. Well, he didn't hit anything, so that's good. Okay, he's backing up. Probably to target who? Oh, okay. Damage is light. My armor's getting stripped off. Yeah, relax. Something I can do. Do we turn your ass around? I think so. Worst case scenario, we can send the bushwhacker around on this other side over here. Take the shot anyway. Yeah, took a wall down I think. Looks like, which is bad. Ah. <sighs> So I think that guy's he's one of the melee mechs, I think. Cause he looks like the mortis. 
Yeah, man, engage somebody. No, nope, guess not. Just gonna drive around, look at the countryside. Well, it's not interesting. Critical hit. Critical hit. Why can't I ever do that when I'm fighting them? Well, at least these guys are giving me some turns of, uh... Turns of protection. They're going after the vehicles rather than going after the, uh, the buildings. Give me one or two turns of being able to strip some of these guys down and nothing. Once these vehicles have moved, though, they're dead meat. We should be able to kill the heavy LRM carrier pretty quickly. Should be able to kill the, uh, the hybrid carrier pretty quickly. Then it'll just be the four mechs at the back. Four against three. Oh, nice. Maybe they can kill him. Oh, they did. He's gone. One less thing I have to worry about. Yeah, and I think we keep the Avatar shooting on that side over there. And the Bushwhacker and the Battlemaster should be able to handle this, the, uh, Standing by. the south side back here. Fucking minefields. Move order received. 18. So 73, 73. 55. So let's go after this guy. Put everything on. Hammer. Ha oh, I gotta keep remembering. I can activate friggin' Warlord. Oops, I gotta confirm it. I keep forgetting it's in there now. I gotta just remember to, to keep looking in there. Locked on. Alright. He got the, uh, the missile. That's fine. Um... Just for interest's sake. 18% now. 11%. Uh... We don't have line of sight on any of these guys, though. So let's just move... to here. Moving. And then we'll go ahead... Got to remember to do this too. Got a lock. Evasion unchanged, eh? Okay. Well, whatever. We'll hammer him with the LK. Didn't hit any of them. All right. So that's that guy there we just shot at, isn't it? It's moving. I don't think you need to move. Just shoot this guy. Use everything on him. And here it comes. Oh yeah, that should be it, I think. Yep. Yeah, they can do a flip, man. Vehicle kill. Okay, so there's the vehicles in the backside gone. Ooh, there goes one of our turrets. Sure. Keep pushing these guys, but we'll shoot at the guys we can see. We got PPCs. What the hell? Ah, it's actually not bad now. Yeah, well. We had to take the shot. No, oh, don't be so disappointed. You'll get him next time. You got four guys you gotta deal with. Yep, target the turrets, baby. Just don't target me. This guy's still backing up. Ready.
Uh, we're getting ha oh, that's our left leg. Right? I hope I got this right. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I got it right. Wow. Bad chances to hit, but we'll take it. Fire at this guy. Ah, uh, we got the tag on. Alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's not like we can't take anything else. Alright. Minefield on the way. Aw, oh, man. On the move. Full speed. 33. Why are they doing so much... <sighs> is it the number of hexes I'm traveling through? Or I don't know what the hell it is. Because the enemy max moved through like two or three of my minefields and like take 11. Shit, that guy's dead. Is he or he's still alive? Still alive, looks like. Okay. We'll take that. We're halfway through this battle, round five now. That's a minefield, I think. Oh no, that's Swarm. He's using Swarm, that's right. Okay, if he's dropping a minefield, I'm okay with that. We gotta kill that SRM carrier. Nice. Hammer him. Oh, he's got hardened ferro fibrous armor. What? Man, we're taking leg damage like crazy. What is it about my black knights that they don't like? I don't get it. What do they ever do to you? 18% uh. Well, you don't have AMS. Now, what? we don't have anything that we can use right now. Let's just fire on this guy. So this avatar right now is the least effective simply because we don't have any um, good targeting computers for it. I'm wondering if we turn it into an ar artillery piece. Yeah, we knew that was coming. We could turn it into an artillery mech. Right? It's a possibility. I know it's only 70 tons, but if it doesn't move forward to engage, then... Uh... Alright, which way are these guys going? Okay, here we go. Still gotta go through this stupid minefield, but whatever. If I take more than three points damage, I'm gonna be pissed. Ten. How the fuck are we gonna take ten points damage? Do I sound bitter? I should. Alright, firing on this guy. Die. Nope. Not quite. Okay. Night. Ooh, what were you- oh, you were shooting on the building here. Okay. Okay. I see what you're up to. Good to go. You can't move, you're just taking too much damage. I hate that. That's not a bad chance. Better on this guy, but you're gonna shoot down this kinetic, so let's just turn it off. We'll fire everything else straight on this guy. Uh, we already used our warlord. We gotta keep applying a lot of damage to this guy. Ooh, we looked like a head hit. It was. Waiting for orders. Damn it. Um. Ah. Uh. Gotta be a move.
Damn. I don't want to turn that side that much to that guy. Still going to be a side hit. Damn it. We're going to lose that leg. There's nothing I can do about it. We could one-shot this guy. Arrow one-shots. See if we can add some damage. Maybe knock his ass down. So let's do that. Um, let's put them both on him. Yeah. Okay, that looks like it might knock him down. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. His AMS is doing stiddly squat, which is good for us. Alright, we got a guy that's on his ass here. Do you mind uh, cleaning him up for me, please? Affirmative. You'll need to take that mine damage, but that's fine. Let's get in here. Um, yeah, we want to kill this guy. I want him out of the battlefield here. We're here to succeed, baby. Commencing alpha strike. There it goes. Yeah, he's running XL. Beautiful. It's probably a uh, Good to go. like a clan Omni, but the XLs that they run um, aren't like clan XLs. They're just regular XL engines, which is good for us. On the move. Let's get this SRM carrier if we can. Where is he? That's the LRM carrier. Shit chances to hit, but we're going to take them all. all okay, we penned, but not enough. I think we're taking a face full of SRMs this turn. We got the avatar still too though, so I think maybe, maybe I'll rotate the avatar and see if we can finish it up. See if we can finish that up. Oh wait, she went on 23. Reporting minimal damage. Who do we have left? That's it. Nobody. Okay, the uh, SRM carrier didn't fire. That was the LRM carrier. That's the catapult. Minimal damage on that hit. Oh no, that was the heavy LRM carrier. Oh, they have a regular LRM carrier and a heavy LRM carrier. Right, okay. I've been so lucky on this. They've been targeting the the, um, the vehicles and the turrets a lot more than I would have, because right now those ve those vehicles aren't they're not dangerous at all. Okay, let's not move. This guy's kind of pulled himself back into a corner here. Now he's got that um, the heavy PPC, so let's see if we can heat him up a little bit. All right, not bad, not bad. Get the thermo, thermo on him. Let's get your ass turned around here. Let's get that SRM carrier. Where is it? That's the LRM carrier. Thirteen percent, huh? Um. What's it on the direct fire? It's only 20 on the direct. Well, we could. This would be a kill, I think, because we can switch this to. Um, it's 28. Let's go this route. We have a, we have much better chances to hit here, so we'll take it this way. Come on, keep hitting that front. Not enough, I don't think. Good damage, though. A lot of nice crits. That'll make it harder for them to hit. Yeah, fuck. There goes the leg. Well, maybe not. My mech's coming apart around me. Yeah, I can tell. Waiting for orders. Can you uh, give this guy some hand, a hand over here? It's going full throttle. They just—they're loving him. They're loving them over here. 
So his pirate L LRM-30 is down. He's got three chem lasers. So that's not that bad. He's not the threat. Oh, shoot. I can't target the other guy. Um, not really that much of a threat. Got two turns to wait. Um, let's go full out with the rack. We've only got four more turns left. Yeah, we've only got four turns left anyway in this in this battle, so I might as well go full out. Ooh, those look like head hits to me. There goes his arm. Yeah, we got a head hit on him. That's what you call fire suppression right there. Or suppress... You know what I'm talking about. Suppressing fire. Coming after the awesome, are ya? We're gonna keep... Oh, with TM, TSM. He's got a TSM. Oh, because he's a melee mech. We better not heat him up then. That's a bad idea, I guess. He's gonna close the gap pretty quick if I heat him up. What are they shooting? The wall? No, the building. Oh, shit. Yeah? What can I do you for? They're getting serious now. Cool. Fuck up that SRM carrier. Let's get it off the battlefield if we can. Crap. We gotta hit the side or else it's no good. 55 on the catapult. 48 on the LRM carrier. That's a kill. If we hit. Let's go for the kill. Beautiful. Guns off the field, baby. Okay. Let's get that whacker. Let's get into here. Let's get a side shot on this guy. Oof, that's terrible. Catapult's slightly better, but I think we want... Oh, it's better with the missiles on this guy. So let's go after this guy. He's turned his side, so it's the other side we're hitting. Move down. Nice. Sweetness. Standing by. Uh. Fucking minefield in the way, of course. I can't move. Um, I'm going to lose the legs. I think we just straight up fired this guy. I got no other choice. Oh, man. Yeah, if I hadn't hit my own guy in the leg at the beginning there... Yep. I know we needed to take those vehicles out though, that's the thing, right? So the Victor's gonna push that other this guy back here, this Hatamoto guy, whatever his name is. The Victor's gonna clean these two up, I think. We got what, three more turns? So I think that should be enough. Eight eight, nine, and ten. Should be enough to take them both, I think, with the rack. Definitely the hell spawn. We should be able to pull the hell spawn down, I think. This guy I don't know about. All right, we got lucky. Got real lucky. Damages light. He can't move though. He's got to stand there. No. Yeah, don't uh, let that guy get close. Let's switch this away from thermal. <laughs> He's enjoying that that heat too much. Let's just hammer him. Ah, we missed with the missile. Crap. All right. Uh, who's next? Yes, Commander. Ooh, that's a back shot on the uh, catapult. We gotta make this guy not shoot at the buildings, though. So let's engage him. Got it. Come on. XL crit. Scored a critical hit. He's only unsettled, huh? Yes, Commander. Let's move and engage this uh, guy over here. Gonna put this back on. I don't know why I turned it off. Let's leave it on. We're gonna be overheating, but I don't care. I got me. Beautiful damage. Solid 
connection on that one. Might be able to take him down. We're going to hit him with some missiles, I think, this turn. So Battlemaster is going to target the uh, LRM carrier. Or the SRM carrier, sorry. Going to get rid of it. Let's get to a position where we know we're in trees for lower damage in case we don't kill this guy. Beautiful, nice. That's a kill. That's a kill. We're in cleanup mode now. All right, let's clean these guys up. Let's get over here. Affirmative. Now we got listen kill still, right? I think that's going to be better. Yeah, we still got some listen kill. Got enough for a turn in a bit. Let's hit this guy. Oh, he's got like no weapons left either too, so... Another engine crit. That was a critical hit. He's panicking. Yeah, we gotta back up with the awesome. The guy left it too late, that's the thing. He should have been moving in from the very beginning and he didn't. Now we don't have, we're not yet, right? No, we don't have the ability to use it anything. Oh! Oh! Nice damage! Gonna hit him with the rack this turn. It's round eight, we've got two more turns after this. Yep. Hellspawn having a little bit of trouble. We got two turns left. I don't know if we'll be able to pull them all down. I think this guy over here is this guy is gonna be the last guy standing, I think. The catapult I think we should be able to rip down. So only one left on that side. Alright, round nine. Uh let's give our kinetic uh, Thunderbolt a better chance to hit by backing up slightly. I think that gives it a... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I was a little too close with it. So we got two turns left with the rotary. Here it comes. Copy that. Kinetic hits. Yeah, man. Scored a critical hit. Okay, the guy's on steady. Good, he changed targets. Which means the, the uh, Black Knight can target him. Damage, Commander. Hopefully be okay. Scramble. Let's go after the same guy. Let's see if we can pull the Hellspawn out of the battle. Uh, we'll use up the rest of our listen kill. And then uh, a little bit of Artemis. Lock in target. Yeah, he's got his other side turned to me now. LRMs are gone. Not much I can do about that. We'll kill him though if if the uh, Black Knight is able to uh, kill the hat, uh, hit a motor or whatever it is. If we're able to kill that guy with this Black Knight, then we'll be able to kill this guy with the uh, Victor next turn. But this guy can't move; he's got to stay there. Hitosume. Oh, he's targeting the building. How do you miss a building? Hitosume. Trying to pronounce it correctly. Commander? My wife would murder me if she heard my pronunciation. She loves anime so much. Loves listening to, to Japanese and stuff, so it's like <laughs> I just murder it. Okay, we've got uh, Warlord. I gotta keep remembering to look. Firing everything I've got. It's nice that that bar is there because now you can add more skills. But I think what they should do is they should have it, like rather than clicking on it and having it as a pop-up, there should be a roll-down. So, uh, I'll just show you here in a second. Okay, Jaws. So here there should just be a down arrow that can just shift this down to the next level of selection. If you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. 
back when I was playing Lord of the Rings online, that's what they right. had. They had like a uh, um, little tab here that you could click on and have another rank of abilities. You can switch them back and forth if you wanted to and stuff, so it was kind of cool. Anyway, let's hammer this guy. Copy that. Nice. There's a knockdown. Uh, which is bad because that means we go before him next turn and I don't think I can sh shoot him in the back so I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him next turn. So our repair systems aren't working so we're not getting anything back in our legs. Let's just hammer this guy with everything and hope we don't shoot our own guy in the back. Oh, there it is. Payback. Payback. He's running. I don't blame you. Just run the fuck away. It's good to go. All right, focus. Uh, yeah, you can get over here. On my way. Let's go on this catapult. Let's go after the leg. And he's a kill. Got him. Two left. Well, one and like partial one. Okay. Now I gotta think about who's doing what here. Do I reserve you? I don't know if this guy's in melee range. That's, I, I, I'm worried that he's got like a... something that he can sprint up to me with. But he's gonna be going for the buildings, I think. I don't think he's gonna go for me. Can't use the thermo. Just shoot him. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get this guy. That's fine. Uh, who do we got next? Commander. If we get lucky, we take this mech. If not, it is what it is. All right, here comes the Artemis. Firing at him. We might get one of the torsos. Oh, we did. Oh. <gasps> No! I didn't think that was going to happen. I, I was convinced yep, there's just no way that was going to happen. Let's just rotate. We're going to overheat on this, but I don't care. Rotary's jammed the last turn. Are you serious? Well, it did some good work through this whole thing, so... Oh, kinetic kill hit. 71. That's kind of nice. I'm liking that. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't. I'm not really a big fan of Thunderbolts, but... That thing seems to be working fairly well. I have nothing to complain about with that. It hits actually fairly often too, which is really nice. So I wish I had a jump jet. I can jump up here, but... Alright, well, that's it for you. Commander. Might get super lucky and take this guy's head off. And then maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Nothing. Oh, we got tag on. He's been consistent with the tag too, which is really nice, even with low chances to hit. At least he's doing something, you know? Maybe the turrets can ease running. Maybe the turrets can help clean him up. Yeah. So, what did we lose on our side? We lost one turret. And we lost one vehicle. Yeah, and you're, there's nothing you can do. You're way out of range. Let's move. Everybody but one we got. He's going to take minefield damage. Eight. Why did he only take eight? Now he's taking like 18 or whatever it was. Well, there it is. Mission successful. All right, let's see what our... Uh, Payment increases here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 65%, 75% increase, which is really, really nice. We really needed that. We didn't take too much damage. The Black Knight did take the leg damage, and I mean, it's got leg damage for sure, like, and their internal repair systems took damage. 
but that's integral so that we, we get that back we just got to repair it and then the hip and the foot took damage so but overall we did actually quite well they really targeted this guy well that and me shooting him in the back or in the leg anyway all right let's see what we can do here now we, we could get a hell spawn go ahead and sell it not enough uh okay hitotsume hitotsume kozo hitotsume kozo i think i got it right maybe i'm wrong only three parts of the hellbringer which sucks but let's see what we got down here we got a broadside Indirect mortar, 690 meters, minimum 180. Yeah, see, you know, if it had a longer range, I'd say sure, but at 10 tons, I, I don't know. I'm still not convinced of the, the effectiveness of mortars. But, like, you know what, the, the bonus of it, though, is that you can't, it's not interceptable by, uh, you can't intercept it with um, AMS, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. I think we do have mortar ammo. I may have sold it though. There was some times, uh, uh, some stuff I sold. Yeah, let's just look for uh, stuff I'm either going to use for sure. TBM 30 Pirate. We have one of these right now. It's a weird weapon, that's for sure. So a single Thunderbolt missile. Oh, Advanced Sue Mark III. Yes, please. Oh my God. Yes, thank you. Black Carpus. Minus 30 visibility, minus 30 sensor signature, plus 15% weapon heat signature, or heat generated, plus 10 heat per turn, plus 15% armor weight. Yeah, I'm just not convinced, though, that with all the ECM and everything, that the stealth systems are, like, what mech's, I don't know what mech had this on it, but whatever it was, we had no problem spotting it and, and, fight, and shooting against it, so... I don't know. I'm just. I don't know how effective that would really be, though. If you guys know, maybe just drop it in the comments. I. I. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. Okay. So an XL. Clan exchanger. Uh five feral fibers. <laughs> XL gyros, double XL gyro. How much is this worth? One point two million hardened armor. Hardened armor, I don't know. Double the weight, double the armor points. You know what? That would be good for a melee mech. I'm going to throw that in there for now, because if we turn the archer into a melee mech, that might actually be really good for it. Prototype double heat sink, there's only one. Oh, tracker sensors, you have to take that. Um, arrow guided, we've got one of these already. We could take two more. And get an arrow system going. Direct fire accuracy plus one. Accuracy plus one. Evasion pips ignores plus one. Yeah, you know, I think it's time to get some artillery mechs going. More than just LRMs. So let's go ahead. We'll take the ammo. How much regular ammo do we have? We've got tons. But the guided ammo is obviously the best. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I think that's what we'll take for today. I think this is a good haul. Definitely going to use this. This can go in the in the um, melee mech. This, we're definitely going to use this. And we're definitely going to use these eventually. So I think that's probably a good run. Yeah, let's go this route. All right, we got some crap. Look at this chem laser. Uh, small pirate laser. Small X pulse is what? Ten tons, or sorry, ten heat for thirty-five damage at one ton. We'll hang on to that. Uh, black carpus. I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't know if we'll use it. Case two. We got four of them. We can go ahead and sell that. All this endo steel can go. Uh, the 180 cores can go. The 300 core. We've got one already. So let's just sell that one. Bar controls missile plus one. Um, no. XL gyro, we've got two. We don't really have any mechs we can drop it in anyway. Sensor missile range, this is good. We'll hang on to that for now, and SRM dead fire can go. we got three of those. 
All right, so actually, actually not that bad. I'm actually kind of pleased with what we got today. That's actually good. We got some good stuff. All right, 274. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Probably this Lance... We'll, we'll probably do a mix and match. Mix and match the next episode. Four million. That's not bad. So we got enough for the next two months. Um, gonna. I want to make sure we've got enough sea bills. I want to bring the um, Archer forward. Let's have a just quick look here. Um, let's go to the mech bay. Have a look at our components real quick here. So if we go into components, um, it's probably hard to look at it from this point of view. Let's just go in. Oops, mech bay. Just going to go into one of the mechs here. Uh, we can't because they're all being repaired. Figures. Okay, uh, components. Well, you know what? We'll worry about this next time. I'm not going to be able to get the archer up and running just yet. But we got we got to have a hellstorm artillery. You know, extreme range. We got thumper. We've got sniper. Sniper might be the better bet. But I'm thinking about maybe bringing that atlas forward. I I don't know. I can't remember how many missile hard points the atlas has. Let's have a look here. Assault. Um, the boar's head has got two missile, two ballistic, because we could put two arrow systems in here if they fit, and a sniper artillery if it's in the torso, if, if these are like torso and arm or whatever. And then it doesn't have to have a lot of armor if it's just going to stand back and shoot the entire time. Load it down with ammo and just and an AMS and just have it stand there and fire from long range the whole battle. That's it. Just use it as just as the artillery. This is the this one's only got, yeah, this one's got less, right? One missile, two ballistic, less laser hard points. They both have only only got one support, so that would have to be the MS. Massive XL engine. What's this one got? So this is the better of the two. This is the Kraken. So yeah, I think we would take the boar's head. Hopefully we get the XL engine with it. Because I don't want to have to put a clan XL in this damn thing. I can't believe the cost that would be. It would just be ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, we bring that forward. Make Turn it into an artillery mech. It would be nice to have it with like two arrows and, a, and like the sniper artillery. That's like 45 tons right there, I think. Then ammo. And then whatever we can fit in for armor and stuff. But we're not going to be able to put endosteel or anything on it because there just won't be any room with the two arrow systems and the uh, sniper. It just wouldn't be room for for any of that stuff. It would just have to be like an XL gyro. Hopefully the XL engine is working. And then like no armor. <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes. And then the archer. Go to heavy. Uh, so the archer's in here. Should still be fully assembled. Assembled? Where are you? There you are. So with this one, the fact that it's like... If this is going to be the melee mech, it's going to have to have endo and... Or the hardened armor. And then endo steel, XL gyro, and an XL engine. Only because everything on this is all old, so it's double the weight. So if we don't replace all that stuff, then this is just going to add to the weight of the mech. So... We do that. Somebody mentioned, I, I apologize, I'm terrible with names, so, uh, but somebody mentioned that maybe running this with TSM and running the uh, integrated laser uh, anti-missile system on overload all the time, that should heat it up pretty quick, I think. And if we don't, if we just put a regular heat sink kit in it, it'll heat up super fast, <laughs> like ridiculously fast. And then it would be able to carry the hatchet, like the 10 ton hatchet. And then we've got we we've only got a few other melee things, not a lot, but a few others. But with a double armor, like the hardened armor on it, twi twice as much armor, I wouldn't be afraid to bring it into battle. Now we'd have to get the biggest engine we can in it. But if we're not loading it down with weapon systems, I'm not afraid to just like just go melee and maybe like a late like a I don't know some kind of like maybe like medium VSPLs or something. Because I think the medium VSPLs, if I'm not mistaken, are only like one ton or two tons. So weapons, laser. Um, so the medium VSPL is four tons. 
So 90 damage and 60 heat. So you just fire that off when you get close to, to heat yourself up to get those TSMs going and then sprint in and just murder stuff with it. You know? But I think we'd probably have to go with a, a double, at least a double heat sink kit in case someone just was decided to overheat us. We'd have to be able to sink some of that any, anyway. So we have to consider that too. We got to balance that out because if they just decided to overheat our mech, we're screwed, right? You know, well, we've only got four hard points, two two missile and two laser hard points. So, um, like the medium P VSPL, we just fire it off. That would definitely heat us up enough to get the TSMs working. You know, if the AMS is going off too, that'd be great. So that that would be more than enough. And then this thing's a great backup weapon for when it's in close, 90 damage kidding me man that's awesome plus one accuracy uh anyway okay i'm gonna add this episode here guys because my kids are trying to go to sleep I've got school tomorrow so um i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and please drop any comments in the comments down below if you've got any suggestions for mech loadouts or whatever please let me know uh the atlas and the archer are the two that i'm looking at for next um for upgrading and bringing forward and see what we can do with them but if you have any other thoughts, please let me know. Until next time, we'll see you later.